hello so from this video I'm going to start a web scraping with request from very beginning so first of all to start web scraping with request uh, by using Python you will need to install Python on your computer that you can go to the python.org python.org here and you can download the latest version from here on your computer you need to click here and there you can find our downloader we can directly download from here also so I already have Python uh, uh, 3.10 so I'm not going to download this Python 3.11 but you can download this and when you download it uh, when you are going to install um, when you will click on install let me show you So on install now wait let me cancel this okay so when you will click on install you need to click here add python.exe path path so uh, after check this you can click on install now and you can install this so are you sure you want to cancel yes okay after installing this you can directly go to the start menu to check is it installed successfully or not uh, you will need to type cmd command line and you can type python minus v this will show you python 3.10.5 is active on your computer so by using this you can ensure you have installed the python successfully after that uh, you can install the vs studio let me vs studio vs code that you can download from here you can if you are using any other code editor it's completely fine but uh, I will recommend you to use uh, VS, uh, VS Code Visual Studio so you can download it from here after download this and you need to install it after install successfully it will be uh, look like this let me bring it here so in this uh, when you will launch the vs code first time you need to go to here and on this icon extension you need to uh, install python just make sure the python you are going to install it's powered by microsoft so just install it i already installed so that's where it's showing me disable or uninstall option for you there will be a button to install just click it here and install it after install installing the python successfully to uh, your vs code we will start uh, our first tutorial by using request before start I want uh, to let you know you must know about that how any website work so let me give you a very quick demo here as you can see uh, this is a little basic picture that I have designed this is a client side this is a client side this is our computer this is the server this is server where uh, the website is hosted or something 
so this is the client side this can be you this can be me or either any person who is sending a request to a server just for example this is a website I enter this URL and I hit enter so I'm sending this request to the server and server is loading this response to me so the request we send it's uh, something HTTPS request that follow those protocol uh, you can be say like HTTPS request that we are sending to server and servers giving response in back what is the response here it's showing us this page so uh, how many type request to that we should know that uh, about that in scrapping uh, there is a two type request that I will discuss uh, this time the one is the post request and the one is the get request so what I did I go to inspect element with right click after inspect element I'm going to network tab here it will display all the request that uh, this website will make with server so I will click here to if anything here will clear up then I will select this one uh, by default it will be on all you need to select this one then refresh the page again here you can see this is the request that made by from this website to the server this request having all the response that we see here so let open first request go to header in header as we can see this is a get request this is also get request what is mean it's getting the response from server and the status code is 200 it means the response coming successfully always remember that the 200 mean is we are getting the response from server successfully and the get some the post request is something uh, when we are uh, sending the request and we are filling any data or uh, we are uh, fulfilling any captcha or any data or form and we are sending something with along the request to the server this is something called post request and later on we will discuss that on a real scenario with the website so let's uh, open one website here uh, let me open it book dot scrap dot com this is a example website that I am just trying to open so I open this website and we will try to send our request uh, on this website and I will give you demo so let me close this uh, when you are going to install VS code I will encourage you to follow any YouTube video how to install VS code so you can install it uh, with some functions that we need to check uh, while we are installing it so uh, I'm making uh, one folder here that is I will give the name request enter so I will open this did you see after right click inside the folder I have option open with VS code uh, when you are going to install the VS VS code uh, there is a, some checkbox that you need to check to enable that option and might be you can uh, check out after installing but I'm not sure so I can open this uh, folder by continue with VS code and I will make a one file here to lecture one dot py so this is the first file that we create to uh, use in this 
in this tutorial so here uh, what I'm going to show you I will show you how we can make a request to website by using Python so you can also visit You can visit W3 school also to learn more about that and you can visit here uh, the request to get know more about that how it's work although I'm, uh, I'm already teaching you here inside this video so let's go to the VS code and I will type first of all as we, we are going to use request we need to import it uh, the request library import and if you get any error like module not found something like that you need to install it I will also let you know how you can install it uh, you can directly install install from the command line or you can install here in terminal if uh, for example you get error the request module not found so you can open the terminal and you need to pip uh, you need to type pip install request something like that and you need to hit enter now, as I already have uh, all the libraries installed so let's continue by using request and uh, let me copy the URL we will send the request to uh, this website okay let me open one product here I copy the link and I will send the request request dot get URL is equal to this so as we are sending the request on this URL and we are getting some response so we need to store that response in any variable so let's give the name response as a shortcut and let's print the response also and let's save this code and run it just ignore this uh, this error I'm getting just uh, ignore that as we can see here we have response 200 what it means it means we're making the request to the server successfully if uh, I make some mistake in URL or let me I just add a inside the link and let me save it again and let's run again let's see did you see now it's printing the response uh, 404 it means uh, the, the request that we are making the something is not exist if we get the response 403 it means uh, the website that we are trying to get the data or we are trying to scrap it's blocking the server blocking our request so that's it for this first lecture i hope in this lecture you have learned uh, about how to install python vs code and how we can make the request to any website and what is response means uh, respond what is the means of 200 404 403 and how many types of request that we can make as we discussed earlier so stay tuned uh, just subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so you can receive the further notification of latest uh, videos I'm going to continue by posting the request uh, videos in this scrapping playlist and after that I will start with selenium